Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Um, as many of you know, I'm a big fan and supporter of the U.S. military. I think some of the most impressive people I have ever met in my life have been our men and women in uniform. I regularly go out and perform in bases all over the states and all over the world. And for me, those trips have been life-changing experiences. I admire their dedication and willingness to endure hardships and make sacrifices for us. So it pained me to hear about the arrest of Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Kaczynski on sexual assault charges especially since he is the officer in charge of the Air Force's Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Unit. This is a huge problem for the military and I hate to say it, but it appears to be a problem that they are not capable of handling. In addition to this case, an investigation at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio has turned up 59 cases of sexual assault by drill instructors. Recently, Lieutenant Colonel James Wilkerson was found guilty of sexual assault, but the verdict was overturned by Lieutenant General Craig Franklin, and he was returned to duty. And Lieutenant General Susan J. Helms did the same thing at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California overturning a conviction of a captain and returning him to full duty. Now Congress is currently exploring legislation that would strip generals of their ability to arbitrarily toss out jury verdicts. And this has been supported by Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel However, there are a number of pro-rape Republicans in Congress and it would not be surprising if they were to block this sort of legislation. Though these cases that I mentioned were from the Air Force, this is a problem that spans all branches of the military including our military academies. And the first instinct of commanding officers seems to have been to protect the rapist or the person in, who engaged in the assault and not the victim. Victims have been pressured to drop these cases. Sometimes commanding officers have just simply refused to allow cases to proceed. The Pentagon's own assessment is that thousands of cases go unreported because of these problems and because the women fear reprisals from their superior officers. There have been reports of female soldiers in war zones sleeping with their weapons, not out of fear of the enemy, but out of fear of their own comrades in arms. This is a situation that cannot be allowed to continue. And while the rights of the accused have to be respected, it is simply a fact that sometimes false allegations of rape may be brought in order to discredit a superior or a rival. All of these cases have to be thoroughly investigated. They cannot just be squelched or swelped under the rug. And officers who show any tolerance at all for this kind of behavior should be removed from command and replaced.
and jury verdicts must be respected. Our women in uniform have served with distinction. They have given their lives and limbs in combat. They have earned the respect of their peers and of all of us citizens. They certainly deserve better than the treatment that they are currently receiving from their superiors. Thanks for listening.